Hello and welcome to Ovation Boats on this chilly and wet Monday morning. I'm on the narrowboat Ash, which is currently in the water, being prepared for handover to her new owners. I'm going to take you around the boat. Uh, this is a Charmwood choice, which everything on the boat has been chosen by the new owners, from colour scheme to lighting to soft furnishings. Everything in the design is down to the customer, and we believe this is looking a pretty amazing boat. So, as we come down the back stairs into the galley, as you can see, we have this uh, very popular and fashionable um, thinner type worktop of a, of a compound, very hard wearing, but it looks amazing. The galley's huge, and inside we have the, the sink, the galley sink with the uh, rinsing facility and a mixer tap. There's a gas hob with uh, three burners. Nowadays people don't really need to have four burners. There's a small dishwasher which is just ideal for the people who will be on this boat. And as I pan around you will see we have drawers with soft closure fittings. There is cupboard space for storage. Just below the stairs there is a fridge master larder fridge and a freezer at the side of it. The back steps to port we have the Thetford Midi Prima Mark III oven with grill above. There's a microwave and the electrical cupboard as we normally have it right at the back in a unit with storage to starboard in there. Now this is a semi-trad boat so there are two sets of doors. The inner set of doors with the slide over are wood lined, the outer doors are not wood lined. Under the gunnels we have this lighting system, it goes all the way through the boat. It's currently on a sort of orange so it looks rather nice, very cosy, very warm. Walking forward we come to the duck doors either side. I believe these have got double glazed panels in them and then there's these wood wooden shutters over each of the uh, the panels to give privacy. Now below the um, below the worktop in the galley we have a cupboard underneath the large overhanging worktop and it forms a breakfast bar rather than a dinette. Lots of boats like well, lots of customers like the idea of a dinette but these customers have decided they just want a breakfast bar and the and the washing machine which is a washer dryer is just stored underneath there. The radiators are a graphite. We have two in the lounge area or saloon, one either side of this large settee which the couple have had made by Elite Soft Furnishings. The lounge area is carpeted and there is a large TV with a diesel bubble stove. It gives the effect of a solid fuel stove but it's possible to have a shorter half and you don't get the mess of course. Now you may have noticed as I've been panning around that this boat 
has portholes. It doesn't have the rectangular windows. It's got the rectangular duck doors, but the windows are portholes and there are no coverings on the portholes. This is because the glass is tinted to a degree where even though the lights are on inside the boat, you cannot see inside the boat from the outside. So um, it always makes me laugh when I think of that because whilst it's really, really good for the people inside, we have heard from other customers that it's a bit disconcerting sometimes to find that there's people looking through the windows <laughs> trying to see what's inside and the owners are sitting there watching the TV. Anyway, back to the boat. We've got a, a small cupboard to port and if we open the cupboard door we can see that it gives access to the cassette for the cassette toilet. The couple have chosen a cassette toilet rather than a composting toilet or pump out. A little display unit there for all the knickknacks and there will be lighting. I can see there's a light up there but um, although I can multitask I'm not brilliant at it. Right, leading through from the lounge area, we come into the shower room, which is a walkthrough shower room, which maximises the space on the boat. There is a, a porcelain wash hand basin on a worktop, which is the same material as in the galley, the worktop. There's a storage cupboard there, a towel rail in the same graphite as we have in the radiators. There's a large shower cubicle with curved quarter doors. The door coming through from the, uh, the lounge area into the shower, it has this glazed panel which allows extra light to come in. Again, very brave. No, uh, no coverings on the windows, on the portholes, although I will show you in a moment, we have got um, bungs for the windows. So there's storage at the side of the shower cubicle with, as you can see, easy access to the connections, the water connections. It's always advisable not to build in any pipe work to the shower so in the event of a leak, not the towel boats leak, but in the event that you need to access the joints, there is uh, there's easy access. Closing the door from the shower room to the bedroom, we have a, a wooden door as opposed to one with a glazed panel. It's fine to have light coming into the... Um, into the shower room from the lounge area but when you're in bed and you want the room to be dark the glazed the glazed door can let light in so coming to the front of the boat we have a cross bed we have a panel here which drops down enabling the mattress extension to be fitted into place and then it's just easily popped up, the mattress popped up so you can gain access to the front of the boat. There's a television, now the television, oh there's two televisions, they, there is a max view satellite system with this television Honestly, it's like a, it's something to behold. In this cupboard is the satellite system that's been installed for easy access. Um, I've done a short video of the, um, of the satellite dish going up and down. That will be included in this video so you can see what it looks like. But I believe there's something like 900 channels. So there will never be a shortage of programmes to watch on this boat. Nice big double wardrobe there. 
lots of storage storage above the bed and there is storage under the bed we've got here the bungs that go in the window it's a really nice design there's one design there there is the plain uh, grey and there's a nice design here so as you can see we have bungs for the windows should uh, should there be a need to to cover the, the windows up as I say when you look in from the outside looking into the boat you can't see anything but um, if you're in the boat looking out of course you can see outside the windows coming back through into the shower room into the chicane back into the lounge area this really is a beautiful boat it's been finished off fabulously nice smooth wood rounded edges you feel as though you want to touch it everywhere you want to touch it it's really beautiful so the couple that have um, had this boat built they've made some really good choices now one of the things about this boat that makes it different is its propulsion system. This boat has a hybrid engine and we've done a little video which will pop at the end which um, Darren's doing the narrating telling you about the uh, propulsion system and you can hear the difference between the diesel engine and then when it kicks into the electric so this is Ash and she's ready to be handed over to her new owners within the next few days. Thank you for watching from Ovation Boats. So I, I took it down to the trench, turned it around and brought it back up and I was driving an electric mode and it's fantastic. You put it in diesel mode and it's like, ooh, it's a noisy diesel engine, I'm definitely a convert to electric. It's fantastic going in electric mode. Okay, right, so we're in, uh, in normal drive now, normal engine drive. We're actually reversing, we're going off down the river. So that's normal engine drive, quite powerful. We'll stop the engine and then we'll go into electric drive. That's electric. Again, we're reversing. And there you go. Right, so this is uh, the remote control. So we've got uh, forward and reverse does the steering as well with the bow thruster but except the bow thruster isolators turned off <laughs> nice one Darren. turn the isolator on so but, yeah remote control it's quite powerful with remote control it's a 60 foot net remote control boat fantastic okay <laughs>